Well, it's not just the temperatures. There's something a little different in the air. That's because some pretty big changes come into effect with the new year. Natasha Fata is here to help take us through some of them. So, Natasha, our neighbors to the south are seeing a slew of changes starting today. What's happening in the U.S.? That's right. Last night they were celebrating. Today, a bunch of new laws come into effect in the United States. Perhaps one of the most noteworthy, perhaps one of the most controversial, is the legalization of marijuana in the state of Colorado. As of right now, if you are 21 or older, you can go into one of 30 stores across the state and buy marijuana for recreational use. You don't need a note from a doctor. There needs to be no reason for purchase. You just want to use some recreationally, and now that is allowed. Now, this is certainly been um, a hotly debated issue in the country, but the pro-marijuana campaigners have succeeded as of today. Have a listen to what one of them had to say. Today, there will be people around the country buying marijuana, but only in Colorado will they be in stores like this buying it legally and safely from regulated businesses instead of from criminal enterprises in the underground market. And Andrew, here you can see images of some of the first purchases being made just this morning in Colorado. But that's not the only change that's coming to the United States. As of today, young boys who are gay can join the Boy Scouts. They don't need to hide their sexual orientation. And an interesting note, the UK counterpart uh, of the, the Boy Scouts is allowing atheists to join their ranks. So some changes happening there as well. In California, photographers that go after celebrities and their children will uh, face much stiffer penalties. This was a new law lobbied by Halle Berry and Jennifer Garner, two very popular actresses that have been pushing for this over the course of 2013. And then the new mayor, Bill de Blasio of New York, t comes into power today. So our neighbors to the south seeing a lot of new changes as of 2014. What about the rest of the world? What kind of changes are other countries seeing today? Lots of stuff happening across the world, and we picked out a few interesting ones for you. So in France, as of today, the police have a new code of conduct. When they're speaking to people in the public or even suspects, they can no longer refer to them with the informal to, as in you. They have to always use the formal, more um, appropriate version of saying vous. So I guess politeness is getting into effect in France. Now, in Germany, they have quite stringent copyright laws, but that is being relaxed as of today. So universities universities and libraries that have works of art or books or photographs that are orphaned, that they don't know who they previously belonged to, they weren't allowed to share them online. As of today, all of those works can now be posted online and shared with anyone who wants to visit that website. So in terms of copyright laws, this is a very big change. Now, as you'll note, in 2013, we heard a number of stories about poaching of wild elephants in Africa. Botswana has a third of the world's total population of elephants. As of today, they are banning any commercial hunting of these wonderful, beautiful animals. And then finally, in Switzerland, as of today, this country is looking for a new national anthem. They are taking in entries. So if you're inspired by Swiss chocolate or army knives, you might want to get your ideas in. All right. I'll uh, pen down some thoughts. Thanks, <laughs> Natasha. You're welcome.